I'm going to show you how to make the basic steps for a castle. We've started out with a slab of clay and we're just going to roll it out to make it a little bit bigger. When I roll it out I like to turn it back and forth just to make sure it's even. I'm looking for something that's just going to be a little bit longer than the fabric covered board or bat that you're using. This is about how thick it is right now. I don't want it any thicker than this. It could even be a little bit thinner. Let's see how close I'm getting to my pattern. Pretty close. I'll just go a little bit more. Okay. Even though I'm off the board a little bit, it'll still work. I'm going to lay down my pattern, which is really just a rectangle with some stairs cut in the edge. I can use something as simple as a popsicle stick to cut with. Again, going off the edge of the board isn't a big deal. Make sure you hang on to your extra clay because you're going to be able to use that to add things. You have some choices with stairs, but one of the easiest ways to do them is just cut them from the beginning. I'll pull this away carefully. I'm going to take all my leftover clay for right now and I'm going to put it into a ball to keep it from drying out. I can lift this up gently got a few things hanging off the edge but that's not a big deal for now. Now I want to think about scoring and slipping. Remember slip is just wet clay that acts kind of like a glue and scoring is when you make marks into the clay. So I'm going to make some marks on the inside of my stairs, just kind of like this. A little cross hatching, not too deep. I'm going to make some more on this side because I'm actually going to wrap it around. So I'll score here. Now I'm going to take my slip and I'll put my slip all along in here. I don't need a lot, I just need some. Don't want to press too hard because I don't want to ruin all of my scoring. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to wrap it around to be a cylinder. So we're kind of thinking about this like a Coke can. So I'll take it around this way. And look, there's a view from, from up here. I'll give you a view from the side. You can see some of my scoring is showing. Not a big deal. I'm going to reach in with another popsicle stick and I'm going to gently press this together. And 
even though some of my scoring and my slipping is showing, I can smooth that back out. So now what I have is a nice cylinder. I want to make sure I squeeze everything together. Hollow, hollow. It's a little thick. Now I can start to shape it. I'm going to work sideways so you can see what I'm doing down here. I can take a little spare clay, a little slip. I can start to patch things up up here. Here are your requirements for this assignment. You need to have something cut out. Maybe you're going to have a window, and we discussed if you wanted to fill this with water later, you might want your window up high. I'm supporting this with my finger underneath. And now I have a cutout, and I can take my tool and I can smooth the inside of that out. Looks like a window. And I can have more than one, but I need to have at least one. That's one requirement. You also need to add something on. So, maybe I want to have a big door. I'll take some extra clay I'll shape it. I like to tap to flatten my sides and maybe I'm gonna create a dungeon door so I'm gonna score and I'm gonna score Put some slip on. Score to score. And now I can turn this into door. I can even put a little handle on it if I want. Got to score and slip this. That is a huge handle for a tiny door. So, so far I have stairs. I have something cut out. I have something added on. And the last thing I need is texture. You can do this in so many different ways, but you can have, um, I can go like this and start to make some brick texture. I could also carve texture in this way. I can put lines in this way. But you just need something that, you know, shows the texture of what your castle is made out of. Maybe it's made out of bricks. Maybe it's made out of fish scales. You decide. I'm not going to go any further, but you can see that. Up at the top of my castle, I can have things cut out if I want. So if I want it to look like a, like it's got ports like the top of a castle. So I'll do that again. I'm just tearing those out, smoothing them down. See how I'm starting to get the top of a castle look here? Here's the last thing I'll show you. 
If you want the bottom of your castle to be sealed up, 